CorelDraw 9 improves its internet publishing features. Now, users can publish CorelDraw documents in various HTML layouts. We will focus on the fourth layout method available in CorelDraw 9, the image map. Image maps are used when you have a graphic that invites the user to click in certain areas. Client-side image maps identify hotspots, or areas, where our target is defined. We will use a clipart photo, and with CorelDraw 9, we will create clickable areas or hotspots. Here we'll use this futuristic image and play around with it. We want the image to be our splash page that will identify the sections found in our website. Here we have three text objects that have been modified by using envelopes and by fitting text to path. Envelopes and fitting text to path are shown in greater detail in other modules. Right-click somewhere on the menu bar to bring up the Internet Objects property bar. We will enter valid Internet addresses, or URLs, for each of the text objects. However, for the Visual Stimulation text object, we will group it with a triangle and make it contain the valid URL and not the text. Since the shape of the text is complex, we want to make sure that the triangle shape is well defined. Here we will simply group both together and apply a no-fill outline to the triangle. So when we convert the document to an image map, the triangle will actually be the hotspot. When using image maps, it is important to predetermine the size of the image since the coordinates used for the hotspots do not change. That means that if you were to edit the image afterwards, like resizing, the hotspots will be off. So you might have to play around with the page setup beforehand. Once we're ready to publish our document, we go to File, Publish to Internet. From here, we have some options to choose. First, we need to determine the path where the HTML source code will be placed. Next, we want to specify a location to place the images. Here we have a choice of calling the image folder the same name as the HTML source file, or any name we choose. Here we have chosen the checkbox where the HTML file name is the same as the folder. Finally, we choose the type of HTML layout we want to use. We choose the last method, single image with image map. Click Next. The next step is to determine the image format. Here, we simply choose the JPEG format. The following two options concern color palette and size. With both checked, we are sure that the image size and color palette used will be viewable by most web surfers. Click Next. The last screen of our export gives us a chance to rename each page as a valid HTML document and to include a title to each page. Click Finish. Once completed, simply use your web browser and open the corresponding HTML file. And as you hover your pointer over the text objects, you should see that the URLs we've included are present and valid.